Suppose you start with an initial amount of a substance right there. Doesn't matter how much you start with, you start with a certain amount. Well, the half-life of that substance is defined to be the amount of time it takes for half of that substance to decay. Or as the optimist would see it, how long it takes for half of that substance to actually remain over time, right? If you look at each one of these iterations going across right here, notice it doesn't matter how much I have, the amount of time it takes for that amount of substance to go down to half of what it originally was will always stay the same. So the half-life of an element does not depend on how much substance you have. It is said to be independent of that. Now, some elements have a super short half-life, like the fast-acting insulin that I take as a type 1 diabetic has a half-life of 81 minutes. I use that fact to help me determine how much insulin is still active in my system after I give myself an insulin, insulin injection to determine how much more insulin I should give myself for eating a certain number of carbohydrates. That helps me as a type 1 diabetic. Some elements have a super long half-life like this, right? So again, regardless of the half-life, whether it's short, whether it's long, the half-life of any substance does not depend, in theory, on how much you actually start with.